Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about something very important that has changed in S4 HANA. I'll tell you something that has changed. So what happens is, uh, so I have this uh, GL account that uh, I am referencing to. So if you see I'm in transactions, so suppose I am, this is 500200. So this is the GL account that I'm ex executing. So if I go to fpl 3 n and I try to find all the items that are executed here. Okay. And here, if you see, when I try to find all the items here, there's some numbers that are missing. Now, you might say, where where is the number missing from your code? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, go to this table, AC Docker table. I'm going to SC16 and I'll put this account number. Okay. So, let me go. I'm in AC Docker table and I'll select account. Okay, here I am. So I'm select account number. Okay, this is the one that I really care about. And I click here, I press enter. And now I execute. And here you can see there I get 20 items. But in FBL3N, I don't get all these items. So why I'm not getting all these items here? So there is there is a problem here in this because why we are not getting all these items is because there is a field. So when you go to FBL3N or FBL3H, what happens is uh, you are going to use um, BSEC table. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy all this value, control Y, okay, and copy it, control C, okay. And I think there is some duplicate stuff. So what I can do is I can sort it so I can count what are the numbers. So let me see uh, what I'll be doing. The sorting is based on this. Okay, so I'm sorting here. And here, if you see, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine entries, right? And here we have two, four, six, eight entries. So one entry is missing. So why one eight entry is missing, we will know. So what I'm going to now do is I'll go to a table called VSEC, okay? So let me open the session. I'm going into and this is very important uh, and this is standard SAP so you go to SC60 and you go to BSEC okay. again in S4HANA BSEC table is there you might be getting confused what the heck you are saying you have you don't have a table yeah you have it okay so here we will go to this field stack okay that is the document status okay and I'll select document state okay and here I will select this as U. Okay. And here I'll put this document number, all these numbers, and we'll put the company code, which is thousand. Okay. So if you see there is the company code was thousand. Yes. So let me see this one. We we'll probably want to see this one. Control I control C. Status is let me see. Status probably is something else. So I'll go here. Select span. Mm -hmm. So here we have the status. Yeah. This is good. And we selected this. And we have you and i'll just put you and i'll execute okay and be sick and let me see what was in the voices note so it says this is the field that we are going to say so any anything that is selected with b stat bkpf okay i'm going to bkpf b stat so i went to the wrong table should be BKPF 
and here I'll populate all this I will populate this entry or what I can do I can populate all this entry control C and I'll go here delete and here there is a field called stat and I'll put only you so posting in general later on so if I execute now and okay. if you see okay so if I execute you see this entry this is the particular entry if I go to this place it's missing because bkbf bstat field is only if it is you it gets stored in ec docker but it will not be stored in bsec this is very very important and you should be using it so this is one one very standard behavior that you might find it bug but any any status that has bkpf let me show you bkpf vstat field which is the document status field as you then it will not show in fpl 3n or fpl 3h so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great